What's up guys, it is Brad, or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Gonna be showing you how to duplicate armor mods, power armor mods, and also weapon mods. This will not work for robot mods, but I don't think you guys will be too bothered by that. This glitch is gonna be most useful for using duplicated mods to sell to vendors, in exchange for their caps and items that you want. Once you've cleaned them out, you can I believe rest for 2-3 to three days in game time, go back to them, and then they will have restocked inventory for you to do it again with. Now let me show you guys real quick, I am on update 1.4, it's the the latest update for all systems the only other exception to that is if you opted into 1.5 on pc however as long as you're on some version of 1.4 or 1.5 on any system you will be able to do this glitch so the first thing you want to do is figure out what mod you're going to do the duplication glitch with and you're going to want to make sure that you don't have it in your inventory or in your workshop in this case i'm going to do it with the jetpack mod for the x-01 power armor so you guys can see the one that i do have is in a separate container that's what you want to do as well also, this is the mod I recommend doing the glitch with as it is the highest value mod. I understand not everyone has X-01 armor though or can create it, uh, you know, having the requirements to and therefore just find whatever mod it is that is the highest value that you can create and do the glitch with that. Once you guys are at this point, go ahead into the crafting station or workbench of the mod that you're going to be duplicating and find where it is located. For me, I have to go to the Power Armor Torso and then the Miscellaneous section. And if you guys already have the mod that you're going to be duplicating equipped, then just hold on a second. If you're someone who has to create the mod, go ahead and do so like myself. Now, once you guys have the mod equipped, whether you already had it or you just created it, what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way up and you're going to want to choose the top option. Now, if you're doing this with a power armor mod, in most cases, it's going to be to equip no mod. However, if you're doing it with a weapon, for instance, the top option is going to be simply whatever mod requires the least amount of resources. So no matter what it is you're doing the glitch with, go ahead and scroll all the way to the top and you're going to want to choose to equip that at this point. Once you guys have done that, you're going to go ahead and back out of your station or workbench. Go into your inventory to make sure that you have the mod you're going to be duplicating there. Again, we have the jetpack mod for me, so we're all good. Now you want to make sure, Ada, what are you, what are you doing? Ada, jeez. You're going you're gonna to want to make sure that you have your companion next to you. So I guess this sort of works out. Make sure your companion is as close to you and the workstation or workbench you're going to be doing the glitch with. And what you're going to want to do from there is click on them. And let any dialogue run through that you're going to be uh, having pop up after you click on your companion. And then go ahead and choose the trade option. And right after that, go into the workstation or workbench that you're going to be doing the glitch with as quickly as you can. So let's see if I can get this first try. As you guys can see, I did get it there. The way that you know is you have a very glitched out screen. So basically in the background, you're going to have the trade screen with your companion. And then in front of that, you're going to have the screen for your workstation or your workbench. Now, from here, you're going to want to use the D-pad only if you're on PlayStation or Xbox. Don't use the analog stick. Or if you're on PC, only use the arrow keys. Go to the section where your mod you're going to be duplicating is located. You should still have that top mod equipped like I told you guys to have. And you're going to want to scroll down to whatever mod you're duplicating and choose to equip it. Since you already had it in your inventory, you will not have to create it again. It just automatically equips. Now from here, scroll all the way back up and choose to equip that top mod again, or in this case, the no mod option for me. Now what you're going to want to do is focus on the trade screen in the background with your companion. Go over to the mod section of your inventory again, only using the D-pad still on PlayStation or Xbox or arrow keys on PC. Go to the mod section and choose to send over the mod you're duplicating to your companion screen or to their inventory rather. And now focus back on the workbench or workstation screen and scroll down to your mod again and choose to equip it. Once you've done that, go back up, choose to equip the top mod again, then focus on the trade screen again. Go over to the mod section of your inventory and you guys will see that you have the mod again. So now Ada in this case as my companion has two of the jetpack mod that have been duplicated so far. And then you guys are going to be able to go back down focusing on the uh, the screen for your workbench or workstation again. Equip the mod and you guys can see Ada still has two jetpack mods and I also have another one equipped. So then you're just going to sit here and continue the process of equipping that top mod after you've equipped the mod that you guys want to do the glitch with. Go over to the mod section of your inventory, send it over to your companion, go ahead and equip the mod you're duplicating again, scroll back up. Equip the top mod, go back to your mod section of your inventory, 
choose the mod, send it over to your companion, you know, rinse and repeat, do this as much as you guys want to. Now let me go ahead and back out of this just to show you guys, you know, some confirmation here that these actually do stick. Let me go ahead and trade with Ada. And I'll be able to show you guys that uh, she does still have all four of the jetpack mods. So I'll take all of that. I'll show you guys in my inventory. Now we have four of them. So we started with just that first one that we created. And now we have four. And you guys can just rinse and repeat this process as much as you want. You know, very easy to do. You guys can make as many mods as you want, of course. And then you can go and use those uh, in exchange to get caps and items from vendors. So that is basically the glitch, guys. Not too confusing or anything like that. However, if you have questions or concerns go ahead and post them in the comment section as usual I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as i can and help in any way that i can and if you guys have enjoyed this video or found it helpful feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more fallout 4 videos to come thanks for watching everyone and peace out